Peace. This is Wise for Wise Words Media back at y'all for another round. And I'm hyped. It's fight week, baby. Let's go. We are going to get all right, fight fans and casual fans. Because fight fans are going to be excited for this one. But casual fans, fans that just come around for the big fights, I know Shakur Stevenson versus Edwin De Los Santos was not what you expected. It's not what you wanted. And definitely, if you're a follower of this page, I built that fight up, and I'm embarrassed that I did, but this fight coming up this weekend, buckle up, this one is going to be for real, this one is a battle of two dudes that go out there, put it all on the line, and throw punches, these ain't guys that are, you know, they're not defense first, put it that way. You know, these guys are offensive minded, and I'm talking about none other than the man who Mike Tyson named the Mexican monster, David Benavidez versus Demetrius Boo Boo Andre. It's fight week. This is another fight right here that I've been counting down the, oh man, weeks and months to. I've been counting down since this fight has been announced, even when it was rumors, but strong rumors that had some bearing to it. When those rumors started to, to circulate, I said, oh man, this is the fight that each one of them has been waiting for. They've been waiting for opposition of this caliber. Boo Boo Andrade has been calling out everybody from Canelo to the Charlos, like he's been trying to get everybody in that ring. It just hasn't materialized. And the same has gone for David Benavidez. Although Benavidez, due to where he, his territory, which is PBC, Al Heyman, they had a better selection of fighters that enabled Benavidez to have at least a few marquee fights, a couple marquee fights. He had the Darrell fight. You know, Darrell's a champion. That was a good fight for him. A good step up fight. And he had the fight against Caleb Plant, who is a you know a champion at, at that weight class and who went almost a distance with Canelo Alvarez. So this this is actually the type of caliber fight that he wanted. He wanted somebody that was undefeated. Uh, Andre wanted somebody that was a, they both, Benavidez wanted an undefeated champion. Andre wanted uh, an undefeated champion and they both got what they wanted. So this is the fight that is going to be the toughest fight for both men. Andre, tremendously skilled, Southpaw, you know, he brings a lot of, he brings height to the table, a long reach, which is, that that's going to be something that Benavidez is going to have to get accustomed to, fighting a, a southpaw, not only a southpaw, but a tall, lengthy southpaw, and Dimitri Sandre, we've seen him be the aggressor. But what happens now when he's in the ring with somebody that is just as, or if not, more aggressive? Because we know that La Bandera Roja, AKA the Red Bandana, AKA the Mexican Monster, AKA David Benavidez, we know what he does. That man is seeking destroy all day. From the moment that bell rings, he's walking forward. You don't really see him stepping back much. It's walking forward. He's walking down his opponents from the moment that bell rings. So this right here is going to be not only two guys that are offensive, but they're skilled. Very highly skilled offensive fighters. Boo Boo's more of a counter fighter, counter puncher, but he'll, he'll initiate the action. Boo Boo will initiate action. He's done it several times, but he's more of a, of a chess guy. 
Like, okay, make your move counter, bad. But Andre, I mean, excuse me, Benavidez is more of the seek and destroy. I'm landing first. I'm going to overwhelm you with speed and power. So this battle right here is going to be one of those epic clashes. Styles make fights. This style, boxer counter puncher versus aggressive brawler boxer. This is going to be a very, very great contest. I'm excited for it, fight fans. Let me know what y'all think about this fight. Drop some bars in the comment section. We only days away. Benavidez versus Andre. I'm Wise, Wise Words Media. Peace.